As we stand on the precipice of a new year, let's take a moment to reflect on the incredible journey we've embarked on together. Throughout 12 months of joy, challenges and growth, our church community has witnessed the extraordinary hand of God in our lives. This year, it's going to be mercy and miracles. January, mercy and miracles. In the embrace of January, we experienced the boundless mercy of the Almighty. Miracles unfolded, reminding us of the unfailing love and the extraordinary power of faith. What do we expect in February? I assure you, the gifts of the Holy Spirit and the fruit of the Holy Spirit. February, gifts and fruits of the Holy Spirit. As the month of love unfolded, we delved into the exploration of spiritual gifts and the beautiful fruits that the Holy Spirit graciously bestows upon us. Today, we have the Holy Spirit. He is also so real that you should join those who enjoy His gifts. March, the Holy Spirit. March brought us closer to the comforting presence of the Holy Spirit. His guidance became our compass leading us through every twist and turn in our spiritual journey. The past is always old. However, the present and the future, when we have God as sovereign, will always bring in new beginnings. April, new beginning. With April came the promise of new beginnings. In the spirit of resurrection, we embrace the chance to start afresh, leaving behind the old and stepping into the newness of life. Where do we find money? In the airspace on the land, in the seas, on the ground. Only wise people see it. May, financial wisdom. The wisdom of the Lord manifested in May, guiding us to make sound financial decisions and demonstrating his abundant provision. Family is God created and God maintained. And so we can't add to it. And the absence of God in any family causes chaos, divorce, war, and in fact, depletion. June, family. In the warmth of June, we celebrated the sacred bonds of family, recognizing that we all are part of God's larger family. Listen, the Holy Spirit awaits your surrender so that He can show Christ's love and truth through you. July. Harvest time. July was our season of harvest where the seeds of faith and perseverance blossomed into a bountiful display of God's goodness. Who would have believed that God would save souls, especially wicked ones? The truth is, He does, but is waiting for you to spiritually sow. August, eternal harvest. As the summer unfolded, we marveled at the internal harvest promised to those who sow seeds of kindness, love and compassion. September, fresh and flourishing. With September came a season of freshness and flourishing. We witnessed lives transformed and renewed by the grace of God. Listen, God is the author of wisdom. October. Wisdom for success everywhere. The wisdom of the Lord guided our steps in October, illuminating the path to success in every aspect of our lives. We're talking about calling. Yes, what has God called you to do? Paul could say, I have finished my course. I knew my course, I finished it. You would finish your course. God designed your course. You work out that course. You would finish by the grace of God. November, exploits of faith. November saw the exploits of faith as we ventured into the unknown, trusting that God's promises would prevail. Relax and enjoy God, because your hour has come to receive. December. Now, in December, we declare that our hour has come. It's an accumulation of the year, a time of divine fulfillment and the recognition that God's timing is perfect. Closing words. Let this year-end review be a symphony of gratitude. 
we extend heartfelt appreciation to God, our leaders, and every member of our beloved church and community. Your faith, dedication, and love have shaped this extraordinary journey. As we step into a new year, may the melody of hope and joy continue to resonate within our hearts. <laughs>